All right. So we are in uh, the last area, area seven, Realm of the Sun. Although this area has multiple levels, apparently. And we're on level two. How did our health get so low? I don't even remember. Uh, anyway, I think our key problem, let's uh, resume our timer here. Um, I got the map. Okay, so here's here's level two, the map. This room was the Witch's Cauldron, which we turned into basically a way to get health points. Actually, we should might as well go there and restore our health. This is a locked door, and if level one was any indication, we need to get our tablet inscribed with the precept, in this case, I guess, light, before we can enter that. So I think, uh, oh, and we did go here, and that's where we got the fifth mask piece. We got mask piece number five there. So really, this is where our attention right now is because there's a book there which we want to read, but there isn't light there. It's too dark to read. So we're trying to find uh, a light source to bring in there. It seems to be the main issue. So we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for lights. Uh, I'm gonna do one more tour of the this level, including stopping off here for some health. If we don't find anything, I guess we'll go back to the room and then try whatever. But we have a bunch of uh, candles, as you see here on the walls, but actually if we go that way, we're gonna go to level one, which I don't wanna do. But yeah, you can't interact with these. So here, put away your sword. Quick save, yeah, the lava, pl yeah, exactly right, Google. Okay. I was like, it's definitely not quick save five. We definitely don't want to go back to the lava platforming. Oh, that was a nightmare. Hey, BDR. Oh, spice, oh, are those, um, are you having pfeffer noose? Or something like that, pfeffer noose? Because if so, I've got some, uh, we just got a package of those, haven't opened those yet, but I think they're German spice cookies. Dave's gun. So, okay, this is, which room is this? Oh, this is where we got the mask piece, yeah, yeah, okay. So just looking for anything out of the ordinary here, but it doesn't look like there is. Yes, Pfeffernuse. How do you pronounce that? We need to get a pronunciation. Pfeffernuse. All right, so let's go with this room. So there was one light fixture or sconce that was off and then we we clicked it and it opened up a locked door. Okay, so this is the room with the little alcoves, which we already broke the pots. Yeah. Pepper nuts. Speculatious. That doesn't sound too German. Pfeffernusa. Pfeffernusa. <laughs> the most accurate pronunciation is tasty. Can't go wrong with that. Okay. So we've seen all three. Yeah, so this is one that we unlock that we hit to unlock another door. How gainest thou the light? I shall seek the answer. And that's the answer we need inscribed in our tablet. Okay, so we missed out on this one. Let's go back, double back and quickly make sure we've covered that. Hallway, and none of these chandeliers you can interact with either. Let me actually add a curiosity to shoot them, but. There's nothing. Okay. Could shoot down the chandelier and then take it with us. Can't interact with these. Oh, it's Dutch. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, it didn't sound very good. What do I know? Oh, you did see those. Nice. Okay, that's the locked door. All right, let's go to the witch's cauldron and get some uh, help. Yeah, I think I had them once, but it was. I don't 
out several years ago now, so I don't really remember if I liked them or not. I think I did, but it's probably been a good 10, 12 years since I had them. So looking forward to trying them again. Can we make him burp? Not this time. Alright, just regular lights. Got full health. I was also like really, I was really tired by the end of um, last night's stream, so maybe there's something we didn't think of doing that we could do in that room. Okay, so this is like the anti-chamber, anti if you will. It's pretty straightforward. And this is the room. I cannot read it. Tis too dark here. Tis too dark here in this room. Tis too dark here. I cannot read it. Tis too dark here. Okay. All right. Let's make sure there's nothing else we're missing here. It's just pillars and the. It is on the darker side. Alright, so there is like light here, but. Oh, yeah, it does shine upward, sort of. I cannot read it. Tis too dark here. Okay, so we, we know we can't. Uh, we can't channel light in this. Because this crystal pyramid is dark. We can't funnel light through this. Apparently. This will not work. Yeah, it will not. This is our tablet, right? This will not work. Okay, this isn't even a hot spot. So it doesn't respond. Can we move this over there? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, did that did that work? I saw the pages got. Lighter. I cannot read it. Tis too dark here. Damn it! Wait a minute. Did it get lighter though? Wait a minute, wasn't it darker right there? I love how his like hand the fingers come out through there. That's great. Oh no, it was always yellow. Oh, okay. But interesting, usually they don't let you push something if there's not a Oh! Oh! Oh, there we go. The key to enlightenment is knowledge. I like how it's enlightenment capitalized. By my faith, another key. By my scalp, another key. This is the You're key so of light. You're so good at this. This is the key of light. The key of light is obtained by wizard man and his bespeckled -ness something. All right, so we have the key of light, which means we should open that other room. Can we take the book? The key to enlightenment is knowledge. Turn the, turn the page. The key to enlightenment is knowledge. Surprised we didn't get that page. All right, we have some key or another. The key of the light. But does that mean that the key to enlightenment is knowledge, but what does that make the key of life? Uh, I don't know, Zero. You can take a look. We, we, we have had the hint counter run, so you can take a look on the completed tab. See, I don't recall offhand. Uh, okay, we want to go up here and take a left. Ah, that's the significance. Helps us save electricity. I'm all for that. I'm all for realizing those savings. Zones. It's uh, it's is that us? No, it's armor. A mind enlightened gains the light of life. Wait. Oh, I'm wearing that? Somehow we... <laughs> Did we warp into the suit of armor? Alright, we got the precept. The tablet of knowledge with the precepts of truth and light. 
Oh, we got we got the precept. We got the precept indeed. Interesting. Three new expressions. Pray tell the library, Tucko. Okay, so I didn't need hints on five and two. Yeah, I would hope I wouldn't need it on five, because that's the one I played a lot as a kid. Two was a blind play, but I guess that's, that one was on the, the easier side. Excuse me. Oh wait, let me, let's me let just fill in for the record. Nice, okay. Can't take these uh, needles. All right, so hopefully now we should just report back to the dude and uh, the door. We should hopefully we will be done with level two. How gainest thou the light? Okay, yeah, I think we did get an armor upgrade. We did. A mind enlightened gains the light of life. Oh. Yes, new regen level three. Excellent. Level three. All right. Now, the one unknown, we have no idea how many uh, levels there are here. So that'll be interesting. Hey, kitty. Evening, evening. All right. So I think we're on 87. Level three. No more space. Really? Well, let's delete quick save five because that one we know sucked. <laughs> okay, cool. 99 levels, great. Sating, so. All right, we're starting on the. Oh my god, dude, please. Thank you. All right, we're starting on the left edge here. I just love like watching the bottom right and see the lines fill in dynamically. It's so satisfying. Oh, this one doesn't have a secret panel here. Interesting. Oh, we got a... Uh... But yeah, we should be armed here because uh, we're going to be facing enemies again. Oh, this is 900. You know what? Let's just go for a sword. More than four times as powerful. Getting plenty of uh, shield potions. Hello. Oh, oh, that one can't be. That one is not uh, collapsible. Oh, this one just smashed open. Where is it? Where it be? Where it be? I think it must have dropped something. No. All right, I guess that those two vases did not have anything. Yeah, they didn't drop anything. You can't break this one. All right, fair enough. Let's go over here. Hmm, coming up over here. Ah, uh, that one. This is uh, how to break va a vase quest. I need the PP though. BDR the PP. Now we have 100 even. Okay. Oh, looks like we've reached a room of some significance. Maybe. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's our there's our boy over there. Hello, sir. Behold the Hall of Order, O oh champion. He who does not correct small faults shall not control great ones. Okay, so we had, I think, what was it? Knowledge on the first level, then light? Or was it truth? I think it was truth in the first one. I don't know. All right, now we have order. Stonk, SM, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the adventure quest. So this is the Hall of Order. Probably should do... Let's do a new, uh, can we do a new quick save here? Not really. 
Well, we can if we delete some of these. Okay. Let's do quick save in uh, Dome of the Sun. Okay. Um, I must discern the proper order. The proper order. All right, let's fill in the room first. And then we'll work on solving your fiendish puzzles. You think Link would be proud of me? Yeah, because as Link, I just beat to the divine beast Rudanya in Breath of the Wild yesterday. I'm happy to report. Oh shit, we're pushing stuff already? No, I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to map it. So this is gonna be a sliding block puzzle? Okay. So how are, oh wow, we've already covered a fair amount of level three already. All right, so I'm guessing we gotta go through this door. We gotta open up this. Alas, it is locked. It is locked. Oh, is this gonna be? Oh, jeez. Kind of, we kind of need to jump on top of this to even see. I guess we need to make. Is it a slide puzzle of the mask? Is that what I'm looking at here? I think that's what I'm looking at here. Oh God. All right. Well, we're gonna have to use this as reference. So it looks like this is the top two, but okay, hang on. Let me let me um, push the center ones back so we can actually. The problem is we're like too short to see, so we may have to switch to third person mode here. Okay, thank you. Uh... Oh man, the camera's still like too short. Go back around. Oh yeah, that's better. That's better. Oh my god, this camera. Please, please. Okay. Yeah, alright, so it is the mask. So yeah, this this face will this part will be in the center. So we should probably do this row by row, right? So this is top left, this is top right, and then this would be the top center. So how does it work with respect to the board? First of all, you should walk and that will run. Um Okay. Interesting how there's like a thing on the end there. So let's let's get that up in the top center, I guess. Um, and I wish they would have done like a puzzle specific interface. Oh, it is on a grid. Fuck. I thought you thought we could have full reign of the the floor space. Then we wouldn't really be limited. But wait a minute. But doesn't this one extend beyond the group of nine? Oh, maybe we do? Interesting. Like, if I want to get this one over there... Um, can we do something like... No, what are you doing? I didn't want you to push that. Jerk. Oh, this is going to be a beast. Yeah, I wish they... If we just have an overhead, they could have switched to, like, a puzzle interface view instead of having to deal with these awful camera angles and controls and everything's being all wonky and stuff. All right, so I wanted to push this one. We're gonna have to like switch between views in this proper. Okay, get this out of the way. Thank you. All right, back to this view now. Skip, no, go up. I guess we have, to, yeah, you have to move for it to actually go up. Okay, so we have this one where we want to. Now we need to move this guy over far as we can. So how far can we push it is the question. No, dude, stop. I didn't say push. Wow. Just because I like clipped the corner it caused him to push. It. Oh. Coco, you didn't get a live notification. On browser, email, discord. What do you use for your live notifications? Oh, this is miserable. All right. Uh, so I want to push. Yeah, thank you. Push that. Can we push it again? No. Damn, so that's the limit there. Oh, God. Ugh. This is like... Most of the difficulty of this puzzle is just looking at it. Oh, my God. All right. Can you move out of the way, please? So I can see. 
I'd like it just like a fixed overhead shot and then let me do my thing. But I don't know. They couldn't be bothered to uh, implement that, I suppose. All right, so I, need, I want to move that. Ideally, well, can we move it? Let's see, if we moved it, we moved this up, but then it would be blocked there. So we really ought to focus on getting the middle part to this in place. I don't know whether I can push that two up. I doubt it. Let's try it though. Switch here. There's one. Can I do two? No. Fuck. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that, Coco. Damn. Did you like slip on ice? Because I, uh, I've, <laughs> Rufus and I uh, nearly fell down on our one of our walks today. Ah, uh, look up. Anything? Okay, thank you. Okay, I want to still experiment with the rules of this. So it looks like you can slide one off the grid. But do, can I even move it when it's off already here? Yes. Okay, interesting, interesting. So we could even push it one here, but probably not two. Yeah. All right. So this is the piece that we want to move there. Uh, it's probably not in the best spot. No. Dude, I wanted to move this one. You suck. These controls are awful. Oh, you missed a stair. Ouch. Here. Uh, okay. The problem is, how do we get that out of the way? Oh, maybe we can push that. Yeah, we can push that one down. Should be able to. Uh, this one. Okay. Now push this over. Thank you. Push this up. Okay. Now let's get an update of where we stand. All right, good. So we got the top two pieces. Now this guy needs to move up, right? So I think what we could do there is push this over and then the remaining piece, push this up and the remaining piece over maybe. Just trying to go like row by row. Here. <laughs> okay, push the face over, thank you. All right, now can actually see. Thank you. All right, so we got the top three in place. So now obviously this is gonna be the middle spot. We'll go this piece we want there. And then we want, all right, the cheeks. Uh, please go over here so I can see the damn thing, please. Okay, thank you. Um, Okay, so this is obviously beard, and that'll be right, and that'll be left. So this just goes over. Oh wow! So actually, we have this already. So we can't move that over one. Um, but we do need to disassociate them. So, and we're gonna have to insert that guy. And this is the right. Is that the right piece? Yeah, that is. Okay, so here's what we'd like to do. Move this one down. Oh, geez. Okay, don't move that over. Thank you. Move this down. All right, now. Thank you. Now we can move this one down. Uh, do we want to move him over more? Okay, let's take another look. 
So I know we can move this him, this piece over in there, and that would be in place, but then these would be out of sync, which we don't want. So... This actually is in the right spot right now. But we need to get to this piece anyway. So what if, let's see, we move this over. And then I can get these two in there, no problem. But how to get rid of that one. Mm. Yeah, I think we want to get it lined up for not too, too much longer. So why don't I, with that in mind, let's put this one off to the side so we can slide it in at the end. Okay. And then we could... Push these over so we have more room. Thank you. Okay. Um, and that's the beard which we want to get out of the way. So we need a way to isolate that one. Uh, if we push it over one, pop. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's come back around here. Let's push this forward. Thank you. Um, and then, over here. Okay. So we're intentionally doing that to isolate that guy, the beard. I can push that there. Thank you. All right, now we can push this down. So that's back in position. Now we can get the face in place. All right, well, I'm probably gonna have to redo this part. Let's at least just get the uh, right side. There we go. So we, now we should have the t like two thirds done, the top two thirds. Okay, so now let's get an update on where we are and what we have to do next. Yeah, okay. So basically, um, this guy's gotta come here and then these two over. So, let's try again to isolate this. Um, so we could push this up and then, no, I'm sorry. We'd have to push this down. So this would be off the track, and then we'd have it available at the end. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, then that should be pretty simple, I think. Hopefully if I'm remembering the right rules of the puzzle. Hugs! Epo mu, epo leg. Epo hugs, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you, hugs. All right, good. Now we're gonna move this guy over. Push these guys back up in the position. Thank you. Um, along the way. Good. They lost to do that. Now we can push these over. And I think we want to move away. Haha! Doors open. Does this mean we get the uh, upgrade or whatever? Ha, <laughs> Andron continuing on the uh, the genre debates from VPNs. All right, slider solved. Yeah, we, we did, good news for you, Hugs, we just finished it. It wasn't a hard puzzle. It, it was just complicated by the lack of complete lack of a puzzle interface. So you had to do it with the awful combination of first person and third person. It sucked. All right. What do we got here? A key. I carry the key of order. 
Yes, you do. I can't afford All right. Now let's fill in the room. Ah, uh, look at those lines drawing. Oh, love it. Oh, we never did this side of the room. Excuse me. I'm very surprised that we haven't encountered an enemy yet, actually. Ah, uh, one second, guys. Whenever you enter those rooms of significance, there's always a, uh, they auto set you back to walking over. All right, which way do we want to go? This way? Okay. We got another, uh, or vases. Do you prefer saying vase or vase? Yeah, that's true, soldier. That is true. But it wasn't a, most slide puzzles, the way it works is there's one empty space on the grid, right? So that, this was actually easier in the sense there wasn't an empty space, but you could actually push it off the edge. So it was different in that regard. But uh, it was more annoying just based on the interface, the interface alone. Oh God, here we got some guys. Here's some growling. All right, let's come, let's come back to there. Let's come back to there. Let's see what else is here. See if we can get an easy open the key to something or other. Okay, yeah, well, there's a door. I know not how, yet. But I will find out, okay. All right, so that's where we go to the next level, it looks like. All right, so let's fill in this bottom left corner now. May as well just start using some of these shield potions because how the hell are we going to use 24 of them? Not to mention 15 <laughs> offensive spells. Okay. Uh, we've been here before already, huh? Yeah, and that was the entrance. Okay. So it looks like we've seen everything. So we just got to go back there to the skeletons. Wow, so this is a small. Oh, I didn't. Oh, this is the pot that can't be cracked. Yes. Interesting. These don't open. All right. Yeah. So let's go. We'll battle the skeletons now. So instead of having enemies dispersed throughout the uh, the uh, area here, this one acts a little differently. And they're all in that room apparently. So we'll, we'll do a quick save before we enter. That's not. Uh, that is the quick save, actually, we want, yeah. Okay. All about destroying the vases, yes. Alright, so might as well use these. We have shorn him in two. You know? Hi. Uh, everyone happy? Everyone got their turn with my sword. 
Do a way to appear so. Now we're just getting out like health potions, which we don't even need. Okay, did we get everything? All right, let's fill in the room. our key. Yes. Ah, there's the chalice of order. Order is unity and therefore perfect harmony. All right, third precept. Oh, okay, there's only room for three. Is it all, is it all done now? The Tablet of Knowledge with the precepts of truth, light, and order. I carry the Chalice of Order. Yes, you do. All right, based on our notes, it says the Chalice of Order provides, what is it? Provides the life immortal. Oh my God, so it's like the Holy Grail? Some Chalice, huh? Game, please. Uh, oh, we got 100 armor. Uh, no, I I don't think it I don't think it works. I don't think it's on a scale of 100. Just think about it. Our, our attack power is 910 <laughs> for the sword. So I don't think it works that way. Fill in the room. Fill in the room. All right. Cool. Let's uh, save again. Oh, we never filled in. This part there. Are we sure we got everything here? I guess so. All right, wow. Was this the entire level? Now we just go to that. We just go here and are we done? Take the chalice and run, Reed. We're gonna become immortal. Well, I doubt that. Speak thou of order. Order is unity, and therefore, perfect harmony. Harmony. New region. Level four. Oops. No, altar room. Already then. So what are we at? 88. All right, so it looks like we're done with the levels. This could be the last room, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ginger ale. Ooh. I haven't had ginger ale in a while. I could go for some ginger ale. Oh, now we gotta wait for the, uh, the game, please. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh, hi. <laughs> Lo, champion eternal, the door to the inner sanctum of the mask. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I remember they said something about the inner sanctum. Uh -oh. This is where we're supposed to put the mask back, you know? I believe so. Holding sanctuary. Finally, we meet, mortal. Lucreto. I must commend thee. Thou hast proven more stalwart than I thought. It will be a shame to see one such as thee die. I have no intention of dying, Lucreto. Lucreto. Oh, dude. It took away half our life and I didn't even get a chance to do anything. That wasn't even a fighting sequence. Damn. Alright. Uh, let's do a quick save here. So I guess take this and get to full health. Alright, where the hell is he? Can we just put the mask back there? Oh my god, what happened to my head? 
Look at our face. Holy shit. So much for my shield potion. Oh, and we're dead. Wow. So, like, he killed us in two shots. All right. So, we're going to have to health up and get um, the shield going here. Damn. Good, we, good thing we got the quick saves. All right. Plus one on the death count. I think automatically, as soon as we put the first piece, he's going to show up. Wait, what did I just take a hit on? Oh, we didn't. What the hell? That was strange. Yeah, so we just lost half our health in one go. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. oh wow, we knocked him down. How about that? Oh, we leveled up. All right, quickly. I guess. I guess each time you have an opening, you should put another mask piece in place. And now we're probably gonna lose half of our life again. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. It shoots! Nice. Alpha. What are you what are you moaning it up? Damn, every time he takes off more health, too, with one of these attacks. Ah, the mask. It will not shield me, puny cur. And so you think. Thou wilt not get away with this? Oh, shit, 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 save, save, save. <laughs> uh. Oh, good, good, I got back. Ooh. Yeah, so we're just, uh, we just put the, if you missed it, because I guess the stream momentarily went down. We put the fifth piece of the mask on the altar, and he said we're not going to get away with it, and then he's like, that's what you think. And uh, you can see down here a portal, the mask opened up a portal behind him. So I'm guessing we have to knock him into the portal. Because if you remember, it said something like, um, I don't think you can actually kill Lucreto. Lucreto. Only the black uh, abyss can vanquish him. Yeah. And the armor of light can protect against him. Yeah. So I think we just need to find a way to knock him in there. Uh, I don't know whether that's gonna be by force or maybe we have to use our wits, but let's get a save here, we'll see. Ah, oh, got this. All right, we gotta get rid of it. We just need... So get rid of that one, and we're at 89. Okay, we can still move around. We're not even taking any damage. Though. I just want to try the simplest thing first. Okay, being invisible is not going to do it. Oh, here, throw, throw, give him the um, chalice of life. Work. Oh no no. Oh yeah, knock him in there. Knock him in there. Knock him back. I wanted to throw the chalice there so he'd run after it and dive in himself. But no, no, you just have to sword fight him in there. Nice. You're so good at this. Oh no, game. Oh shit. 
Please, game. Oh. When it changes resolution, then it freezes and <laughs> messes up. So something's happening. Don't know what it is, but something's happening. I can't see it. I assume it's a GG. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, credits. Okay, so nothing happened. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Um... <laughs> oh man, we're probably gonna have to watch the ending on YouTube or something to actually see what the. Ending cutscene was. Oh man. But there is the ending. Oh man. Yeah, so it turns out I don't know what the point of getting the uh, chalice was then. The chalice of order. Organized crime. Because that, uh. I thought we were gonna use, like, you know, it's. It's gonna have the appeal of, uh, you know, immortality. But you wouldn't actually want it. But Lucrita would try to get it, and you would throw it in there, and he would go after it. But it didn't happen. No, it was just a basically a standard fight, and then you get banished. Yeah, not the King's West grand finale because we still have the um, the 2015 Odd Gentleman season. Yeah, but I don't know. It, it was definitely not... Obviously, it didn't play like a King's Quest game. It didn't feel like one. Didn't re really resemble one in any way, shape, or form. I wonder whether King Graham was in that ending sequence. We'll see in a minute, hopefully. But um, I, I enjoyed it for what it was, I, which was not a King's Quest game. I can see why King's Quest fans at the time were very upset with this. Oh. But generally, like, it was fun. It was on the easier side. Like, the money... The money had no real practical application at all. It was way too easy. The combat was really easy. Really easy to level up. Didn't use most of the spells that we got at all. I think there were only two uh, circumstances in the whole game where you, there actually was a deception going on. Um, and, you know, a couple of the puzzles were... A little wonky but in general they were like very straightforward so i don't know i feel like based on the way this game was set up they would have been better off just maybe even ignoring the adventure components altogether and just make it a straight up like action rpg we have scored team mask of eternity have scored 600 uh, 6.8 million out of wait did we get more hold on a second did we get we got more than the max score 6.8 million out of 6.6 .6 million possible points? What? 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 Oh, man. I, I guess we did. Uh, we got 102%. <laughs> Maybe we hit some, like, scoring bug or something. But yes, max score and then some, you could say. Awesome. All right, so let's give uh, f um, 26 Cedrics out for a game taking 26 hours and... 29 minutes. Uh, we still know that we need to see the end, though. <laughs> we need to see the ending cutscene. I think even more than that, maybe. Oh, that's a common score or a common... Is it a common score or a common problem? Because it looked like a very specific score based on probably number of enemies killed and what, what all you leveled up to and everything. King's Quest. Let's see if we can find... We can actually see the ending cutscene here. Um, I see a bunch of Let's Plays. Okay, this one probably doesn't have commentary. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, let's take a look at... Uh, Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I clo closed the program, the music is still going. You gotta love that. 
Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, so let's take a look at the... Um, do we have this available? Yes. All right, I think I got a good video of it, hopefully. Um, so let's actually see it. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see any Cedrics. I did not see any. Um, What's up with that? What is up with that? Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay. So this is like the whole battle. So we want to do it from when... I'll actually do a little bit before since you guys didn't get to see the stream crashed a little bit there. So this is when you put the last piece of the mask on there. Yeah, Graham comes back to life. All right, nice little, nice little action scene there. Or cutscene. Uh, I actually like the music in the game a lot. Uh, that's probably my favorite part about the game. But yeah, it was fun. It was easy. It was definitely the game was on the easier side, and uh, it appeared to be more complicated than it actually turned out to be. I think. Yeah, nice little thing. I think you know the other problem with it. It probably it didn't really. I know it boasted of a lot of characters, but uh, I don't know. It didn't really have the charm of the, um... It didn't really have the charm of the earlier games in the series. No real memorable characters. I'm not gonna knock the game for this, because it's true of most game, you know, most 3D games of the mid to late 90s, but yeah, the... <laughs> doesn't, doesn't look great. With all the, uh, polygonal blockiness. Um... You don't even see the wizard from the from the start. You don't even see him at the end. So I don't know. It's kind of it seems like a very impersonal game generally. And Connor doesn't really have much personality. Not to say that Graham ever really did, to be fair, but he almost seemed like this uh, snobby villain most of the time with his voice. The voice, the casting of the voice actor for Connor was very strange. Yeah, it was trying to be more than it should have. That that's true. I mean, there were a lot of pressures going on at the time, so you can almost understand it, but you still have to, you can't give the game a password at the same time. But again, I would have preferred it had been a little bit more challenging from both the combat and RPG perspective and also uh, the puzzling, I mean, the puzzling generally. I mean, I got stuck a few times, and of course we need to use a couple of hints, but it was still, uh, 
still not too... Most of the things were just very easy. Barely had to think. Um, so, I will say, though, in general, like, based on what I'd come... You know, based on the reputation of the game, which is really bad, um, I will say it was not as bad as I expected, and so I'm happy about that. You know, <laughs> I was bracing myself. But I did enjoy it for what it was. So, thank you, uh, Kitty. Thank you, Kitty Trouble, for the uh, for the pick. Um, great to play it. And, uh, yeah, uh, we still have to play the VGA remake of King's Quest 1, the NES version of King's Quest 5, uh, the 2015, uh, you know, reimagining from the Odd Gentleman. And then, yeah, there are a bunch of fan games from remakes of uh, VGA remakes of 1 and 2 and 3 t as well. Um, yeah, the Silver Lining, right? Uh, no. <laughs> King's Quest two and a quarter, rest intentions. Let's not forget about that. Reputation of the game is typical of game fan, game fan overreaction. Yeah, I mean, I think the easiest thing you could do is you could have given this, just call this game Mask of Attorney, not had it branded at all, and no one would have noticed. <laughs> That's probably the big problem of it. Like you know how some some platformers, they would just, um, you know, you'd have a platform made in Japan, platformer made in Japan or whatever of a certain character. But they didn't know that character in the U.S., so they would just reskin the characters to do some licensed thing, and the, otherwise the game was the same. Like that's what this felt like. It was called King's Quest, but it didn't. It could have just been easily something else. Uh, yeah, I wish you could play King's Quest SMS, but I think that's under the same um, game entry and movie, so we're not. Yeah. All right. Um, King's Quest Nine. No one remembers being frozen in stone. Yeah, Graham didn't even say anything when he came back. Yeah, it lacked heart. I agree, Cody. It did lack heart. No one said anything. Yeah, exactly, Snatcher. It was a tough, t tough time for adventure games, for sure. Amber Scene, still not a fan after all these years. Still not a fan. I mean, I understand it. I understand it. I just had fun for what it was. But, yeah, it just, just didn't feel like a King's Quest game. All right, I think someone redeemed something, right? Andrew Tencho, Tencho got an extra off on tree. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's head to our, um, let's head to our Hall of Adventure. Bookshelf number two. All right, game number 278, King's Quest, Mask of Eternity. Putting it up on the shelf. Yahoo! Jack, another one up. Ten times better than your expectations. Wow, so Matt, were you not familiar with this one? That is shocking. Thank you, Lester. Thank you. I will say what's... Okay, nice things about the game I forgot to mention. I really liked the... I mean, I probably said this a bunch of times during the game. I love the uh, the mapping. That was really cool and nice. And um, maybe they built the first-person view because they realize the third person camera works so shaky that the, even the manual they say, oh, use first person to examine items more closely. But as you saw, I ended up playing most of the game in the first person view. So I actually appreciated that was available because I actually found that preferable to controlling the game in third person. So it's kind of cool because most, most games like this probably, you know, didn't really, probably didn't really offer that. Even nowadays, probably they don't, right? I mean, I know you have racing games where you can control different, like, camera angles, like, you know, of the cockpit, you know, on the hood, behind the car, whatever, but that's basically all just kind of effectively zoom levels of the same thing. This is, like, a totally different uh, perspective entirely. Uh, and so I thought that was actually kind of cool. Um, obviously, the camera in general was awful in third-person mode, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that that's... I, I, was, I don't know. It seemed to me like that was pretty... That would have been tough to pull off for 1998, so I was kind of impressed by that. 